So I'm just knocking this video out, no editing at all whatsoever. It's only fair that I make this though, it's the interests of balance more than anything else. Uh, it's not going to add any value to your life or any, there's no substance to it, but it's only fair that I do it. Uh, I don't know who you are, I don't know if you've watched the previous videos on the channel, so I'm not going to go over old ground again and uh, just talk about the whole stories again, but if you didn't see any of the old videos that preceded this, a couple of weeks ago Autodesk released their design and manufacturing showreel video for 2019, that's like a video montage with some nice music in the background, and it's Autodesk's statement of intent for that particular industry, this is, this is, our, this is our presence uh, and our dominance in that particular industry. In the previous showreels, they've done these going back 10 or so years, Inventor has always been the focus and the flagship of the design and manufacturing showreel in some way or, or another, it's always been in there in a big way. But for the first time ever, Inventor just wasn't present at all in that showreel. Uh, instead, it was dominated by the Fusion products. I am mostly focused on the fact that it was Fusion 360 that was the, the, the main presence in that video, but uh, it was later pointed out that it was actually more a broader portfolio of the Fusion family, Power Mill, Netfab, mold flow, additive manufacturing, generative design, all those other uh, technologies that were mostly focused on in the video. Uh, so I then released a video talking about that, speculating mostly what it meant uh, based on historic events leading up to that point. It was sort of the crescendo of, oh, oh, why, why is Inventor not there? What does that mean? What, what could that symbolize? So it's mostly just me speculating, really. In the weeks following that, I had a meeting with Steve Hooper and Derek Cooper, uh, which was very good of them to spare their time, especially since we held the interview on the launch day of the 2020 products. But to cut that long story short, that's also on the channel, that interview. They uh, they concluded that it didn't really sim the video didn't symbolize in Autodesk's long-term investment strategy for Inventor. It wasn't supposed to give any kind of indication as to is to that really there was nothing to read between any lines there in a sense it was an oversight it was a mistake inventor probably should have been in there they didn't really think about how that looked and they didn't mean for it to come across that way and at the end of it all they've redone the video mate they've redone the showreel it's back online it's been re-edited and an inventor is in there thank you autodesk thank you uh, that's really that's all this is about. I could have just said that in the first place, but you probably would. I don't know who you are. You might not. You might not, okay. Inventors back in the showreel. I, what's the showreel, mate? I, I just found this video it was in the thumbnails and the recommended tab. I don't know who you are. It's just appeared there. So, uh, but yeah, they've redone the showreel. Inventor is in there, and I'll link it in the description. I'm not going to play it, but I just want to end this with a, a big thank you to Autodesk for for listening to feedback and for for actually caring and and doing something about it and listening to customers there'll be people watching this going they don't listen to customers i've had a bug report since 2006 on autocad because the system file die variable on a russian language pack when you're using a french keyboard crashes and then i logged it they told them years ago and they fixed it and uh, all right but this is genuinely them listening to customers you know whether whether or not you actually think it means something or not it's kind of irrelevant they they did listen to you and they did act so thank you very much to Autodesk for that it's uh, I know in the grand scheme of things it kind of doesn't really change anything it's more of a symbolic gesture if anything else you know inventors not going to gain masses of sales from this at all it's not going to help anyone learn it better or quicker but it's just more of a symbolic gesture so thank you very much to Autodesk for that apologies to whoever at Autodesk I caused a bit of work for I say I I'd like to be more humble and modest about this and say it wasn't it wasn't me it probably was me i think i did i think i did this um but let's i mean make no mistake if it was just me autodesk probably would have went oh neil shut up stop, stop you wabbling and babbling but it's more the community that rallied and said whoa hang on a minute yeah i think we inventor needs to be in there so thank you to the community for that and for autodesk for listening to them uh, and to the agency who were ultimately paid to redo the video again, you're welcome, mate. <laughs> Think nothing of it. But yes, it's it's back up. Invent is now in there. Thank you very much to everyone involved who got that going. And, and uh, just if you if you care about this, and you think Autodesk are a bunch of bros for doing this, go on over to the video, drop a like on the video, and put a comment, please, please, for the love of God, put a comment under the video and say thank you, Autodesk, for putting Inventor in there. We think it was deserved, and it should have been in there all along, but 
don't give them a hard time it's it's awesome that they did this and they put it back in there so that's all that that is all for this one uh, i'll just leave it there thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one toodles